The opening of bass season might be the most anticipated day of the year. After a long winter, we all want to bust out our shorts and grab our tackle boxes loaded with the latest, greatest bass catching lures and hit the water. For me, it's all about launching the boat, tearing down the lake, pulling up to my favorite spot and making that first cast with the hopes of a five pound bass smashing my lure. This season, we are excited to have a new tackle sponsor. From rods, reels, line and lures, Rapala is going to be the only gear you see in my hands. And today, I get to hit the water and test out some of the new X-Series Rapalas. The X-Prop and the X-Walk are some mean looking baits that I hope will hook me some giant smallies. This country was built on fishing, hunting, and trapping. Pursuing wild game in the vast lakes, rivers, and forests has been a part of Canada's heritage for over two centuries. Back then, it was about survival. Today, anglers and hunters act as stewards with the focus on conservation, wildlife management, and habitat preservation. Whether you're urban or rural, fish or hunt, you should support sound wildlife management and proudly say that I am an angler and hunter. The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television. Mercury Marine and Lund Boats. Yamaha ATVs. What kind of Yamaha are you? Browning, the best there is. Rapala. Excalibur crossbows, compact recurve technology. The new matrix changes everything. And Yukon gear. That is a bruiser. It's not about the shot itself. It's about all that came before it. A company that's given back to conservation so that the tradition of hunting will continue. A leader in innovation since its founding. It's the legendary excellence you've come to expect. You've got that history in your hands. Now it's about settling the crosshairs, focusing on that moment in time, and one legendary trigger pull that changes you. Winchester, the American legend. This is the Eliminator, a crossbow shooting machine. We shot five name brand compound crossbows, plus the recurve limbed Excalibur Matrix to see how long they'd last. The first fails after 138 shots. The second after 214 shots. Even the best fails at 500 shots, while the Excalibur Matrix is still going strong. In 25 years, I've never fixed one other than a string. Don't settle for a crossbow that doesn't last. Shoot an Excalibur. Closed captioning of Angler and Hunter Television is provided by Ontario Out of Doors Magazine. The trick to getting fish to strike early in the season is to use bigger profile baits that also have subtle action. The X-Prop moves a lot of water when jerked, but it also gives off a little flash and ripple when subtly twitched. The same with the X-Walk. And even the Trigger X Flappin' Craw for finicky fish that won't come up for a bait. 
I got him. He was out there. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at this thing go. It's a big small. <laughs> and sure enough, he comes back. But I did pique his curiosity with uh, Whoa! I did pique his curiosity with uh, with that minnow bait, and that's what it's all about. That's it, right there. Made a little TV action for you, and caught a giant smolly. Oh wow! Ugh. Look at the girth on this fish. Look how it's hooked. Look at that! I played all around with that fish just tagged them. So you see that? Just a craw, black craw, with a black leech above it. Drop shot. It's always good to have something when you're fishing reaction style bait, something to throw to them. Because, uh, woo, nice big fat smallmouth. And he gave himself away looking at that uh, BX minnow. Let him go. Watch him go there, look at that. That was awesome. I love the early part of the season. Bass are still shallow and in the right conditions. You can sight fish for those big smallies cruising the rocks looking for an easy meal. Here he is. Got him. Oh, he got off. <laughs> How do you get off with hooks like this? <sighs> I just got smashed by a giant. Where's my talon? Put the spike down. Having the luxury of a Talon shallow water anchor and the spot lock feature on my Minn Kota motor made this day so much more enjoyable. When I spotted a fish, I simply hit a button and locked my Lund into position, which allowed me to focus 100% on casting to these wary smallmouths. Oh, this is a big one. <laughs> I knew I'd seen this fish two or three times come and chase us around. Holy smokes, it's big. There's one with them too, just as big. This could be, uh, I was hoping to not have to fish in this wind today and throw some top waters, but given the suffix floral, if this is 10 pound castable suffix floral, <laughs> fluorocarbon, it's castable. So this, this is great. Look at the size of this fish. There's one down there swimming around with it. size of this thing. He bit the claw too. I've never caught so many fish in a row on the bottom of the drop shot. Oh, look at that. He came unhooked. Wow, look at the size of that smallie. <laughs> now, it's skinny, so it hasn't really been feeding too much. That's awesome. Again, I was throwing a Terminator half ounce spinner bait. Got bumped. Nothing. I fished around the area and sure as heck came back and caught him. Beauty, let him go. Bye-bye. Oh. Gear up with Canadian Tire. Canada is a vast and varied land, and no one understands that better than anglers and hunters. Canadian Tire understands what anglers and hunters need. With nearly 500 stores coast to coast, you can be sure they know what's in your backyard. Every Canadian Tire store's product selection is built to serve their local community's needs. Most anglers will agree that smallmouth bass are probably the hardest fighting freshwater fish, and fooling a big one into biting can be a challenge. Bait fish skitter and scatter when they're pursued by predators, so making the lure mimic injured bait fish is often the best presentation. But it can take skill and time to master. This new scatter wrap series from Rapala consistently swims with an erratic and evasive sweeping action when cast or trolled, perfectly mimicking vulnerable bait fish. Whether you're a serious angler or new to the sport, Canadian Tire has the quality brands you expect and the cool new products you need. To find a Canadian Tire Pro Shop near you or see their expanded product selection, go online to canadiantire.ca slash pro shop. More great fishing action when we return. 
Now's the time you've been waiting for. Lund 1775 and 1875 Pro V's are back. Pro V's are built tough with double plated hulls, marine grade treated plywood, and reinforced transoms. Plus, Lund's exclusive IPS2 hull provides precise boat control and a soft, dry ride. State of the art live wells, accessories, and tons of storage for rods and gear, making all Pro V's the choice of professionals. Visit your local Lund dealer and reward yourself with the best. You've waited long enough. There's a huge low pressure system centered over the state going to continue to whip our area with rain, sleet, and high wind. There are already multiple weather related accidents on the freeway. You'd have to be a hardcore duck hunter to go out in this weather. Take it easy this morning heading downtown. The Browning A5. Come hell or high water. Take the water by storm with Humminbird Sonar Technology. Choose between two high-performance display modes and decide how you read the water with Switchfire Sonar. Seek picture-like images to either side of the boat with side imaging. Or choose all new down imaging for crystal clear views directly below you. Fish smarter with Switchfire, side imaging, and down imaging. Only from Humminbird. Simply, clearly, better. Nice fish too. Wow. That was great. Wow, this is a big fish. Oh, buddy. This is gonna be my first giant on the Balsa Extreme Minnow. Wow. <laughs> Five twitches and he smashed it. Now when you're using minnow baits and twitch baits like this. Anything Rapala makes that has treble hooks on it, I suggest you use a net because these big fish will put hooks in your fingers. A tube or a drop shot, you can get away with it. Look at the size of this girl. She doesn't want to quit. <sighs> Look at that bait right in her snout. Whoa. <sighs> Not ready yet. In the net. Wow. Look at the size of this thing. The X minnow, look at that. And then look at that. <laughs> that is a bruiser. Hi. Mwah. You deserve a kiss. Man, you gonna follow me down with this one? You good? Yeah. Look at that thing. That's a giant. Look at her go. He swirled on it. That's where he was, right there. Got him. Whoa, it's another good one. Wow. So that's awesome. Whoa, come in the boat. The BX Minnow gave him away. I just threw back to where he was. And got him. This one's wired. Got him on the Trigger X three inch leech. He hit the top bait. up on a hot day. His hook's just in his bottom lip. Look at that, look at that. Nice fatty. Gave himself away. Got caught. Got him. A little guy. He would. He's. See how light this fish is now, and that lime green water line he was hanging around. Well, I'm giving the. Uh, it's 
It's my first year using the Traeger X baits, <coughs> and I'm telling you right now, I'm not disappointed. Most guys would throw this on a back of a jig or for a largemouth, but it's a flapping bug. I put it on a jig head, threw it to a rock, water line. Good. Wow, come back here. He got this little smallie, but he hit it aggressively. Oh. Look at that. In the roof of the mouth. Just like that. Very light colored. Now, if you go back and look, he was living off the side of that, I don't know, it's a water line or something, the cottage you had here, and it's lime green right there. Oh, he jumped. <laughs> it's about time. noise in the area and I'm not gonna risk this one. I'm gonna net him. Look at the strength of this fish. Wow. That's a big smallie in the net. Oh how awesome is this? Oh my god. <laughs> this thing's huge. That is one stubborn fish. He took it deep. He's off. There. This Rapala scale's got a 15 pound maximum, but it's cool is it's a it's a tournament fishing lot. Um, scale. You can enter all your fish, number them. And there you go. Wow, five and a half pounder. Go. Whoa, goodbye. Adding the latest electronics and accessories to your boat might seem a little costly and intimidating, but the fact is they can help improve your skills and give you the edge over the fish. Yes, it's true, your electronics are only as reliable as the batteries they're being supplied power from. That's why Minn Kota offers several options when it comes to battery charging. Whether you're running one, two, three, or even four deep cycles, you can rest assured that they will be getting the best charge possible. Minn Kota's precision chargers charge your batteries faster than any other model. Plus, they're optimized to deliver the exact charge you need. Features like battery equalization that automatically cleans and conditions your lead acid battery during each charge to extend runtime and the overall life of your battery. Using overloaded outlets or extra long extension cords can lower the voltage output, causing charge times to increase. But these precision chargers compensate for low voltage and deliver a faster, consistent charge to your battery, regardless of where you plug them in. To see more ways to get the edge over fish, visit midcodamotors.com. More great fishing action when we return. Recently, we invited other outboard owners to look deeper into Mercury Verado. The mid-range throttle response is amazing. Got a lot of power for low RPM. Whoa. I can't get over the, the, the power that it has, how quickly it accelerates. The torque is unbelievable. Verado is up to 13% quicker than other four-strokes. Visit MercuryMarine.com to see more ways Verado beats the competition. Mercury Marine, look deeper. Feel that bad boy? Think GPS is just for getting you to the lake? Think again. The new iPilot wireless GPS trolling system can hold your boat in place like an electronic anchor. Record and retrace productive fishing paths, automatically keep you on any bearing you choose, and take total command of speed and steering. iPilot controls your boat with wireless GPS precision so you can focus on fishing. And it's only from Minn Kota. Suffolk Safe 32 is constructed with seven strands of Dyneema and a single strand of Gore Performance Fiber. It's the roundest, longest casting line in the world. It offers superior abrasion resistance so you can fish it anywhere. It's the strongest, most sensitive, and durable small diameter braid ever to hit the water. Nice fish, Brett. Thanks. Suffolk 832, always use the best line. Oh, wow. 
see the parts of my bait go flying out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, he's ornery. Well, that's proof enough for me. I can cast these baits you know, all day. And if I didn't have them, I would, these fish wouldn't be showing themselves and I wouldn't catch anything. You know, I've caught a few on them, but uh, at the end of the day, the reaction strike's been short, but it's allowed me to find these fish, find the rock they're holding on, come back and, and catch them cruising around. That's another nice winner. And that's that Trigger X flapping bug. A nice molly. Go get bigger. Wasn't as big as we thought, was he? Wow, he, oh, he just came up and ate that. Whew, that's what makes it worthwhile. You know, it's it's awesome to be able to throw back to him with these follow-up baits, but when they actually hit these things, it's just awesome. I can get him in the net. I got him. Oh yeah, nice big fish <sighs> on the X prop. I'm telling you, this new stuff from Rapala is amazing and look at the mouth on this fish he's got the hooks right across he wasn't ever going to get off and he's a nice big one so what i'll do is i'll get him off this hook i think well i can do it in a minute right there x prop big smolly Woo! That's the way to do it. <laughs> Get bigger. He smashed that spinner bait. Uh. Oh. That's a nice one. He just tagged that spinner bait. Look at that. Yeah. Next fish. Let him go quick. Wow, that's two big fish that clobbered that. Those little propellers make them mad. <laughs> Woo! I got a new favorite lure. It's the X prop. Look at this. He's got hooks all in him. Sorta. Whoa, pull some drag. Look at this fish. You don't want to quit. I quit now. I got you in the lucky strike. <laughs> That was a smash and a half on that topwater bait. He's got hooks everywhere. A couple of hooks here and there. Awesome topwater fish right there. Look how long and the, the, the short and fat this tail is. This is a long fish. Huh. That was beautiful. See you, buddy. That was a great hit. A good sign it's overcast now that top water bite might go crazy i nailed him he's gonna jump oh he went back down <laughs> get him to hit a top water bait come back to where he was throw a little trigger x at him okay not a bad smallie to end the day here. It's overcast. Looks like it might rain. We've had hot and sunny days. Nice little guy to end the day. Caught some giant smallmouth today. All with uh, reaction baits. And then uh, the ones that didn't hit the reaction baits out of the uh, 
initial strike we went back and caught with that little uh, craw. Okay, so that might have been the most awesome day on the water ever. And I think I dispelled the myth that you don't need a big boat, all those fancy gadgets and the latest greatest rods, reels, lures and line to catch fish. Because you do. Now, go get some of this stuff and start catching more fish. Angler and Hunter Television was brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television. Mercury Marine and Lund Boats. Yamaha ATVs. What kind of Yamaha are you? Browning, the best there is. Rapala. Excalibur crossbows, compact recurve technology, the new matrix changes everything. And Yukon gear. Looking for more information on today's show or past episodes? Visit www.ahtv.com. Whether it's watching a fishing or hunting edge online or looking for other great sites of the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. And remember to conserve and protect our great outdoors.